Hello and welcome to the next request a system test. This system test is suggested by Fire Detection 101, who asked for the System Sensor Spectral Alert Classic, the Simplex 4903 and 9217, the Notifier BG12L, the Notifier BG10, and the coding set to California. Now I will say, I have yet to um, get California to work. It seems just too continuous on anything, so we're gonna go ahead and give it a try, but let's take a look at the devices. Again, we have the Notifier BG12L, which I need to tighten up that back box because the whole box is loose. Still have a control module that does nothing. That's probably gonna be replaced by something else soon. We have the System Sensor Spectral Alert Classic Horn Strobe. That's set, to, set up to do selective silence. Following our wire, we still have the good old SD355 smoke detector. Um, just kind of sitting there. We'll probably test that today. Now here, I'm not proud of this. It's mounted sideways. Why is it mounted sideways? Because of these two screws. Um, the Simplex devices, they put their fancy star head screws in there. And I realized after I ran the wire and, you know, terminated the wires on here, that uh, I didn't have the J box turned correctly and I didn't really want to stop and do that. So I have the 9217 mounted vertically. We'll just pretend for fun that these letters are facing the right way and you can actually read it. But either way, this you can already tell this is getting to be a loud system because of this horn and that horn, they're very loud. And we still have the NBG10L hooked up um, as requested by, uh, I believe it was Aaron Productions last week. So that luckily got to stay up and it was uh, suggested this week as well. So we've got all the devices up. We've got all the fun. Like I said, I don't think California code is gonna work even though I could show you in the panel that it's set properly. Let's go ahead and start with the BG-10. Oh, there we go. That's still going. That's that. There we go. Hey, California code seems to work in such a bad thing. All right. So this doesn't do California code because I set it up to be system sensor sync, which I probably should have just, uh, you know, turned off, but that's okay. Minor issue. Um, let's re-alarm down here. Boy, those are loud. Nothing about this system is quiet. Um, we're not going to worry about the heat detector today, but um, sooner or later we will. I'll explain that when it happens. Um, let's go reset that pole station and let's take our smoke can with us, huh? Okay. I'll set that down up here on the pile of stuff. That's what's fun about being in a storage room for this, um, is that my stuff is just all over the place. That's not in all the way. There we go. Cool. That should be good. Now let's get that smoke detector going.
Let's go pull down that smoke head and, uh... Yeah, you can see all the smoke in the air. It took forever for that thing to activate. Great. Let's see if I can get some airflow going here. Check this. Which has been up there for a while. Start, uh, waving everything out so it doesn't go back into alarm on me. All right. Yeah, I got some time to kill here. All right. Wave out the smoke detector. All right, so that's all, all good. I like to try to blow out as much smoke as I can it from yeah there we go just got the device unresponsive there we go already detected it's an alarm waving out the room a little more <laughs> all right I think we'll be okay now before I go resetting anything because I still want to give that another minute Let's see who's up next week. Next week we have Fire Freak, you're up next week. Um, we will have you, uh, whatever devices you want, up there. So you should be good to go. Thanks, Fire Detection 101, for your suggested system. It was a fun and really loud one. So that's all good to go. Guys, thanks for watching. Uh, more videos coming out this week.